Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I accident, accidentally didn't record my earlier session. So the session on video was not recorded because I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, uh, all right, so here is uh, Final Cut. It is on two screens, which, which makes it looks, look kind of weird. Um, but basically, you know, you've seen the screens all day. You know how it works. Um, so the first, uh, I'm going to do two demos here. I'm going to make one video for uh, showing st st stuff on an iPhone. And then I'll make another one um, of using a green screen Mac. Um, so you can take these with you and uh, play with them later. Um, and I actually will throw them up on Dropbox and you can download the files. Uh, Final Cut Pro, you, it's 500 bucks. Uh, you can buy it for 300 uh, at, as a, um, if you just Google the education link, um, you'll find a link there. So. Anyway, all right, so the first, the first thing we're seeing here is, let's just go full screen so we can see what we're looking at. So obviously this is the uh, iPhone video from earlier. Is it actually moving? No, it's not. Anyway, uh, yeah, here's the um, iPhone video from earlier. As you can see, it's only, you know, it was in portrait mode. I do all of the, the videos in portrait mode because that's how people look at their phones. Um, and I'm sure you've seen uh, when someone captures, you know, like a, a, a shooting or whatever, and they, they always shoot in portrait mode. Please, if I ever get killed, and you're filming it, shoot it in landscape. I would <laughs> like to die in landscape. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You, so you, you'd be aware of that kind of like that, that nightly news look that we've seen a million times. I, I'll show you how to quickly do the nightly news look. So all right, so we've got Final Cut Pro here. There's our video, scrubbing through it. I'm just going to grab it, copy it, as you would a Word document, paste it. There we go. Now I have two versions of that same video. I'm going to pick one up. Ah, stupid. Touch bar. All right, pick it up. I've now got one stacked on top of the other. I'll get the one from the bottom and see this little little square in the corner here? This is my transform tool. So I'm going to hit that. Let's go back over. And now I can just uh, blow that up a little bit. Whee! I think I did it to both. Did I? Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, cool. So I can um, come back. At this point, you kind of want to just go a little bit, whoa, look at that. Okay, oh, hang on. No, there's a little one underneath it. All right, so I've stacked them the wrong way. So let me just have a look. So which is the big one? All right, that's the, the normal one. All right, so I actually need that one on top of the other. There we go. All right, cool. So now if I play it back, and they should be completely in sync. Do, do, do. So I'm seeing that. Whoop. I've still got the, uh, I just dragged it accidentally. Anyway, so that's the idea. But as you can see, that is way too much information for a human to be able to deal with. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll move that up, make sure it's actually centered again like it was. All right, so here's where our Gaussian blur comes in. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'll pick that up there, that little filter. Whack it on the bottom clip. Now, now I can't see anything. So now I'm going to have to click back into that. And I'll just turn down the amount a little bit. There we go. And there is your standard, um, oh mate, I saw it. Like he, that other guy shot that other guy video that you will see on the news a hundred times. <laughs> That's exactly how they do that. So there, there you go, a couple of minutes. Um, I don't actually do that anymore. I, I did, once again, I hate every video I've made. Um, so. <laughs> I used to do that way for the first couple of videos, and then I realized, do I really want to give people that, that thought, that mental thought of like I'm watching someone getting shot in a... Uh, anyway, so, um, <laughs> so now I don't do that. So now I just go do do do, which is the one, it's that one there. I'm going to pick this up. Ah, it's really hard to do this on this um, little touch screen. All right, so once again, free transform. Yeah, I noticed that too, Final Cut. Um, <laughs> Free transform is your friend on this one as well. So here is, basically, you, I mean, you could do this in, uh, in Photoshop. You could create like a, a nice little background image or something. But if you want to be lazy, you can just create like a big fat square in Final Cut as well. So I'll just do that. And do, 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 do. And I might just whack it over here. Uh, that's not good enough. I'll stick it there. And now I'll put it over here. Whack. 
the iPhone on top of it, and now I should have this kind of nice little, yeah, if I move that across, and then I can kind of like pick up this like little text that I've got, move it across there, and now I've got this, eh, it's a little bit off-centered, but that's all right. I've got this nice little, ah, a little thing that's kind of showing me what I'm actually talking about, and I can change that text as I go. I've got a minute and a half to do the Mac, so let's do that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is the green screen demo. There we go, there's our green screen. Once again, free transform is your friend. Pick up the Mac uh, screen that you want to use, um, and this time I'm going to actually use the distort tool rather than the standard transform tool. Pick up one corner, whoa, doesn't that look cool? Whack that one there, pick this guy up here, <coughs> whack that there, this guy here, that'll go there, and then this one can come on over here. And then we've got, it's a bit wonky, but if you spent more than a uh, minute 49 on it, you could probably get it really nice. Um, but you can see here, you can see here that um, the, the dude's hand actually goes in front of the screen. That, that's going to throw... Um, yeah, it's going to look a bit weird, so I'm going to move this across. I'll, once again, it's just changing the layer of how you're looking at it. So now I've got the, the layer as I want it. I want keying, and I want here. I'll just whack this key thing on, and there we go. And it, now the, the image that I wanted on screen is actually behind the hand, so it doesn't look weird. Um, and that's it. Like, that's seriously it. I would probably also throw in a bit of a... Uh, blur again, just to kind of match the focal point of the, whoop, wrong layer, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Throw, I'm trying to focal, <laughs> match the focal layer. I've got 18 seconds to go. Thank you so much.